The newest video for me reading Sonic the comic has been delayed due to my super special voice guest star being a bit very busy with his personal life. So while we wait for him to get back to me, new stuff. I checked the reading list and I have two poster mags left. Skipping issue 7 because issue 7 is a non-Sonic story. I just have issues 8 and 9 left, so I will um, do those and then we won't have to worry about the poster mags ever again. We will have like several holiday specials, but that'll be it, I swear. So enjoy this BONUS episode! Sonic and Knuckles in The Chaos Emerald Thief. This is a very unique looking rendition of the Metropolis Zone. I mean, though, that's a big freaking planet with a big freaking moon and some weird space alien looking crap. This looks nothing like the Metropolis Zone that was in Song and Hedgehog 2. In the poverty ridden Metropolis Zone, in the Metro Bar, here we see some shady dealings happening between one purple bird man and a mysterious cloaked figure. And apparently, he has something quite valuable. The purple Chaos Emerald, stolen! Under the nose of Knuckles the Echidna, protector of the Chaos Emeralds. Incredible. How did he acquire such a thing? How was Knuckles able to lose it? Was he sleeping on the job? However, this transaction is busted by an interruption by Sonic the Hedgehog. Boom! Pocket Sand! It's, it's not Pocket Sand, it's, it's a poisonous gas, which he just happens to have in his pocket. Sonic has to remove the poison from, from, from the air just so no one will suffocate and die and it's revealed that the mysterious cloaked purchaser of the purple chaos emerald is none other than knuckles the person that they stole the chaos emerald from whoopsies knuckles is quite well there's a vo vocabulary of words but i'm just gonna say he's mad he's pretty mad he's missed that uh, sonic managed to biff up the whole sting operation wait hold a second jesus th th those are those supposed to be animals? Anyway, um, yeah, Sonic has a tracker which tracks the chaos energy readings of the Chaos Emeralds, thanks to Porker Lewis. Knuckles insists that he'll take it from here, but uh, Sonic refuses to let anyone else do the job of the superhero. I mean, it's his name on the comic, not Knuckles. The shady dealer is running away, but thankfully all Knuckles needs is one precise strike and everything crumbles around him. Bricks and barrels and as Sonic runs towards his back, he falls into those those aforementioned falling barrels. Whoops. It looks like the tracker is broken. Sonic and Knuckles get into a bit of a barney and while they're completely distracted, the shady dealer is about to flee until Knuckles gives Sonic a bit of a a bit of a knock to the chin and boo impact into the purple bird man turns out sonic was um trying to get knuckles to hit him on purpose to do a surprise attack on on the guy when he was hiding in the sewer bit of a cheeky sod but hey he gets results and on to the last issue of the poster mag trapped in the vortex starring sonic and tails i apologize for the quality of the issue this is the best scan i could get at this time Unfortunately, I can't find anything about who um, did the arts for this issue. Uh, some of the text in the end is, is really blurry. Hold on. Mike Hadley. Mike Hadley did the art for, the, for this issue, and um, this is probably one of the worst drawings I've seen of, of this kind of Sonic. I mean, he, 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 lo he looks like he has a pinhead, for God's sakes. Tails doesn't even, she doesn't even look like that good either. Sonic and Tails arrive at the Labyrinth Zone, possibly the worst zone from Sonic Hedgehog 1. Yeah, we all got familiar with um, the drowning theme, didn't we? People are missing and have likely been converted into badniks. You know, same old, same old. See, it's the end of another year and Tails is beginning to doubt if the, their actions have any sort of, you know, bearing on anything. Are they really saving people or is it just prolonging the inevitable? Tails is full of self-doubt. And look out, motobugs. But they're flying, I guess, and they look nothing like motobugs in the actual game. In fact, they look completely different from motobugs from the previous story about motobugs, because those ones were buzz bombers. Yeah, a bit of a rant. You want to make a difference in the world? Start here. 
Destroying those airborne motobugs has Sonic placed right above the water, and he can't swim. Or, you know, he just chooses not to swim, because he refuses to admit he can't swim. Sonic is trapped in a whirlpool. He can get out if he reaches the ocean bed. However, Tails finds himself arise to another problem. He can help Sonic, but he would not be able to save all the um, people in time. So if he saves Sonic, they will be converted into more badniks. If he saves the badniks, Sonic might drown. Luckily, as soon as Sonic gets to the bottom, he manages to grab an air bubble and destroy the whirlpool machine, propelling him upwards. Tails has no idea if he made the right choice leaving Sonic behind. Thankfully, he did. Sonic reassures him that he made the right decision to, you know, save the people. Because the people are the priority. They come first. And Tails is a bit of a hero this time. And guess what? It's Happy New Year. This will probably make more sense um, later because the next uh, episode has a Christmas story. But yeah, it, it, it was delayed. Yeah. Happy New Year from Sonic the Poster Mag. As of this recording, it is the late of November, so it is not near New Year's enough. But hey, I can now upload these videos the same day I finish them, which is amazeballs. Do people still say amazeballs? I don't think they say amazeballs anymore. Yeah, that is the last two poster mags, so there's no more of this. I don't have to worry about adding in spin-offs to videos. See you next time for when I bring Knuckles the Echidna a new voice with my guy. Assuming he gets out of, I don't know what he's doing, college, jury duty, maybe he's on trial for jaywalking, who knows. Good guy, good guy. See you next time, folks.